Hello, this is Victoria Wynn. I want to just do a mini class with you. This is a color that is new to us and so, so exciting to me. It's called Black Chrome. So watch what it does. I basically will turn you into the Tin Man. And that's a really, really beautiful thing because this Lux Metallic Powder is not glitter. This is a really good way for you to be able to see um, the intense shine. So our new formulas have such an extreme intense shine. You could stir this right into paint or resin. Like you could add it to black to give your black some um, ultra, ultra shine. And I wanna show you that though, it has a deep intense shine like Cosmic Rain. Cosmic Rain has a bit of a blue um, tint to it, whereas this is the black chrome. Because I would imagine it might get a little confusing in video, um, or pictures, I should say, when they're not side by side. So here you can see this has a slate blue, that's Cosmic Rain, and this is just black chrome, just like I've named it. Really easy and simple. And then just for the fun of it, just to share, this is nautical navy, Atlantic blue, teal island, and highly, highly color shifting, Chantal's Comet. We just launched it last week. We had already sold out and uh, we're packaging more because it went so, so fast. So we're loving your five-star reviews on that because you guys are already getting them and painting with it. Um, so there's our difference. Black Chrome and the Cosmic Rain. So today we're gonna play with Black Chrome. All I've got here is I've just used some Floetrol and some basic Liquitex basics. I just threw in some blues. Um, and then this shade of green, it's like a teal, um, a drop of purple. Because for right now, the point for me isn't the color, but to really start playing with the black chrome. What I'm gonna do is take some of this white, it's mixed with Floetrol, and just put some white right through the center. And that's gonna create a really beautiful look here. I actually don't need this much for this little tiny canvas. So we don't wanna be wasteful. So I'm just gonna take some out of my cup here that I think I, oh, Nelly, look, things are getting crazy. Okay. <laughs> Phew, I had to take a breath through that. We almost just had a blue stick all on our nice white canvas. Okay, so that is a lot closer. I'm just gonna do this drop of white for this really beautiful technique I'm about to show you. That's it, just right through. Don't stir, don't swirl, don't do anything except for pour. This time I'll do an S, how about that? There's our white spot. You can see some of the white, it's at the top too. But that's like the kind of thing you can't tell until you pour it onto your piece. This is running a little slow. The weather can greatly affect that. Um, it's so hard to tell because sometimes um, my paints run thicker. Even if I've used the same amount of Floetrol that I normally do, it just kind of happens. But that was a really cool um, thing to just happen is there is a bunch of that beautiful white spot. So I really love this for galaxy scenes. Um, that technique of a spot of white right through the middle of your cup without any swirling. And there we go. We have a beautiful background. Now, typically I'd be cleaning up the edges with just a stick, 
and uh, I would just dab into this pile right here. But seeing as though, my whole goal for this little class is really to start playing with the with the black chrome. So we're gonna just call that good and let's just get on with part two of the fun here. Now, the reason I am incessantly cleaning my hands right now is because getting out my favorite um, cleaning tool. <laughs> uh, the reason is because we need to have dry hands when we touch the powders. You can imagine, you saw how powdery these are and fine. It's going to stick, right? And then we won't get a good, a good flow or toss or whatever because it's going to be stuck to our hands. So here we go. I say that with frustration as if I've ever made that mistake <clears throat> last week. So I'm not doing it again. Um, I was being too quick. I wasn't thorough with drying my hands and I had paint underneath my nails and then it all, it stuck. And then it's one of those days. Okay, here we go. Black chrome. I think, I mean, there's so many techniques they can use with these powders. Like you could put this in a condiment bottle mixed with some Floetrol and just draw beautiful lines. You can toss it, you can sprinkle it. I think in this case, I'm gonna take a breath. I'm gonna take my own advice. If you've taken any of my courses, you know, I highly, highly recommend before each step, each new thing that you're gonna do, just take a breath and relieve the tension from what you just did. So here we go. I think, I really just gonna be really basic. And I'm gonna use my Northern Lights technique, which is a wave-like motion. And then I'm gonna tap the back and it's gonna spread out. So in this case, maybe it'll look like a comet. I don't know, asteroids, let's see. That's pretty good. I might do another round of it. Here we go. Okay. Now, Remember, we're working with gravity here. We're not in full control. We are working with the universe. So when I tap it, decide which way you wanna aim it because that's where it's gonna spread, right? So I'm thinking, let's just go bold. Here we go. Oh, wow, it jumped. The way I tapped it made it jump. That is so interesting. Holy high shine. That is amazing. Um, oh my gosh. Let's see if we can capture. Yeah, just how incredibly chrome that is. I love that. Cleaning my hands again because I touched the edges. And I'm gonna do something um, kind of fun because I've got a little stash of powders right next to me. This is our new formula for Teal Island. It is 200 microns. It is super fine and has a more intense shine than ever before. So I'm gonna add it and I'm gonna add it right through the chrome. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> I say these things with confidence, but truly I have no clue how that's gonna go down. Here we go. Oh, wow. Do you see what I mean by the shine? Okay, I think I'll tap this one too, but maybe this time with the back of my, of the canvas with my hand. Here we go. Okay. My goodness, that's intense. Okay, I, I'm clearly out of control. This is how I know. <laughs> how I know is because I've got one more powder color. Hey, it's not my fault. They're right next to me and it's a big tease. I guess that's totally my fault. Whatever. Okay, here we go. Chantal's comment. Remember, this one is color shifting. So let's see what it does on this teal background. 
Okay, deep breath. Here we go. Chantal's Comet is named after my um, daughter who is studying to be an aerospace engineer. And she told me that this color, um, that it truly looks like a comet. So I thought, wow, what better name than to give a little tribute to my daughter. She started college and high school and she's been focused on aerospace and studying our galaxy ever since. So here we go. Chantal's Comet. This one's for you, girl. Make it good. <laughs> uh, yep. Chantal's Comet always delivers. It is so gorgeous. You tap it a bit. That's, I use Chantal's Comet also in Northern Lights pieces because look at that. So it can, it's gorgeous in galaxies, oceans, Northern Lights. And let's just run it right through here. What the heck, what's it gonna do? I don't, actually I haven't done this before. So it still color shifts, even though it's on top of other powders. That's really neat to know. Let's tap it. Wow. That's so amazing. Like it's, like look at it from this angle. It's like, wow, that's a really lovely painting. And then it's like, Hello, I am alive. That's so incredible, I love that. It's like, hi, I'm mysterious. And then bam, it's like an introvert. Hi, I'm so quiet, I'm a little shy, but inside, <laughs> clearly, see this is me, I'm totally, <laughs> I just described myself in this painting. It's like all this life, but, put me in a party situation and I'm like, um, can I go now? Or are there any like um, appetizers or hors d'oeuvres? <laughs> and then I go home and I'm like, woohoo! You guys know way too much about me after this little mini class. Okay, so in summary, we have played with a super, super intense black chrome and teal island and this new um, ultra, ultra high shining formula of Teal Island, and then Chantal's Comet. And she's right, that looks like a comet. And again, I also love to use it for Northern Lights pieces because that, that color shift is, it's very Alaskan, it's very Norwegian skies. I've been to Norway, um, and I've been to Alaska too. My my powders are based on things that inspire me in nature. And I was like, man, I, I swore I was gonna move to Norway. I was so taken by its beauty. So that's how I base my recipes and formulas. It's on things that are extraordinarily beautiful to me. And then I like to share it with all of you just because I'm kind of mushy like that. But there it is, unassuming, <laughs> until you walk by it. Can you imagine a big two foot by four foot piece and you walk by and all of a sudden it just lights up like that? It's really, really striking. I have pieces like that in my gallery um, and people are always blown away because they think that it's um, there's electricity behind it. When Really, it's much more affordable than that. We just use powders that create the effect of electricity. And that's it. Thank you guys. This is Victoria Wynn of winmodernart.com. That's where you can find the powders that I've um, shared with you and online courses like full on online courses. Like some people, it can take them, you know, a month or two to go through. And we also talk about how art emulates life and life emulates art and what we can learn about ourselves in the way that we paint. 
and the emotions that come up while we paint. Um, I go pretty, pretty darn deep and it's, it's been really healing for me and also for all our customers. And I thank you for all the five star reviews on my online courses and on the powders themselves. I just, I love you guys. I appreciate you and uh, enjoy, have fun with these. I can't wait to see what you create with these powders too.